So hello everybody and welcome to another Charticulator video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to do the stacked and clustered column and bar charts, which are very common in most tools. So why would you do it in Charticulator? You have a ton of formatting um, possibilities that you might not have on your tool of choice, for example in Power BI. So let's get started. Okay guys, so we're going to create the charts that you see here. Let's start with, um, I have a Northwind dataset. So this is the year, the category name, and the sales. You will have this file available for download at curable.com, resources, and then uh, download center, okay? So go in there, pick chart layers, the usual. We're going to edit. You can do the exact same thing in Charticular or web. I just prefer to do it in Power BI nowadays because I can modify the data easier. So we're going to create a chart. We're going to make sure that we put in all the fields that we need. There we have them. And now let's get this magic started. Here's the thing. We're going to have year, sales and then the bar charts, right? So year is going to go in the x-axis. If you do not change the type, you, you will get year as a number. You don't want that. So we're going to do category and then put year in there. So now we have three years. We're going to put the bar, the rectangular, the, the shape uh, rectangular. And as you can see, we have actually six cat or seven, I don't know, three, four, five, six, seven, eight categories. And this is the number of categories we actually have in, uh, in the data set. So it's showing us that for each year, we have three categories. And the values are, we put it there, the sales. And you see. Now, things that you can do, you can actually go and um, fill in by category name. And then you will get new color for each category which is quite neat. You can add uh, legends anywhere you want them. We're going to put them in the typical way. You put it up here, right? And now we're going to zoom in a little and to be able to rotate the text, you need to grab it there and wait until you get the cross. And then once you get the cross, you can rotate it, you see? And then you just go to the text element and then put in the, um, sales. You need to format this a little bit. You want to have zero decimals and I want to have the thousand or the million symbol. So you have to write here zero S. If you don't know these, I mean, this is the D3, um, this uses D3 uh, uh, technology behind. So that's the way they format stuff. Hopefully in the future we will get like drop downs and stuff, but for now this is what we have. As you can see, it goes out of the canvas. So if you publish this as it is, you'll see that it's going outside. So what we need to do is to actually move it a little bit. I'm not sure why it doesn't know where the end ends are, but it doesn't. So this is what we need to do. Now, things that you can do here, you can actually separate between the years. You can separate also the margins in there if you want to. You can put a legend, to put a legend, you go to the shape, for the shape is for the, the legend is for the categories, right? And the categories are here on the field. So you go in here, add a legend. And now, as you can see, the legend goes, you know, all the elements in particular has to be fixed on something. And this is the guide that it has the closest, but it doesn't look very pretty because it's very, very close. So what we're going to do is create our own guide. We're going to create one guide here, put it in there, and now, if you move this there and save, it goes back. For some reason, you need to save it first to reset it. So save it and then move it again. And then it'll stay there. It's coming out, so we need to either make the text smaller, which is one possibility. Uh, not there. <laughs> uh, on the legend. Where is my legend? Here. You see the legend? So you can make the text smaller which is probably the good thing to do here, or you can move these, right? Put it a little bit more in there. Good, it's looking quite nice now. You probably wanna have a axis in there, right? So to get that axis in there, you might think like, okay, I go 
and I put cells in there, what happened? What happened? That's another video for another day. So you are not supposed to do that. Control Z that will take you back to whatever you did. So how do I create the Y axis? Believe it or not, you have to create a legend for that. You see? And once you have that, you will be able to have the Y axis. One thing I do not know though is how to format those numbers. Um, the same way we did for the text, I don't see any option, so I'll go up to Chartigler and, and ask them to do that. Uh, but otherwise, now we have a complete um, chart. How about that? Okay, so now we're going to stack this thing. Um, I had prepared this, but I think it's probably better that I'll do it here. In order to be able to have this stacked bar, you just go in here, stack Y, and you're good to go. The thing that you will have to remember is you will probably have to change the legend so it actually fits, you know, within the stuff. Like maybe put a little bit. Probably you will want to have the totals, and then if you want to get rid of those gaps, just get rid of them, right? And then you get a proper traditional, not proper traditional stack bar chart, okay? Now, how do you create the, uh, this is the column, how do you create the bar? So you go in here, um, add chart calculator, put it up there, edit, create chart is actually very, very similar to the other one. What you need to do is, instead of putting the year on the x-axis, you put it on the y-axis. I mean, you probably guess that, but just in case, then you put the mark, you put the sales, the, the sales now will have to be on the width, right? So you, you'll get it on the right uh, scale. And that will be a stack. If you want to unstack it, you put the Y and then you'll get it unstacked. So that's all. And now you can do the same formatting as you did on the other chart. So... Hopefully this help you create these uh, basic but very used charts and then you will have tons of options to formatting. I will do probably a special video on formatting stuff because there's so many things you can do. But for now, I think this is a good start. You have this video for download at kribble.com, resources, download center, and then chart regulator. And then you will see I have the three, the four types in here. So you will be able to recreate them with no pain. Okay. I'll see you again on the next video. Until then, take care.